everyone, my name is Kiana Walker and welcome back to Vocalist Magazine TV. Now it is time to get excited because today we will be exploring the rise of the dreamy, wonderful and exotic Bruno Mars. Today's episode will once again be based on an article written by one of LA's top vocal coaches, Lisa Pope. So we're going to jump right into it. Bruno Mars was born Peter Jean Hernandez in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1985. He is one of six children coming from a family with incredible musical talents. His father, who is Puerto Rican and Eastern European Jewish, is a percussionist from Brooklyn, New York. His late Filipino mother was a hula dancer and a very talented vocalist. This woman had formed a Vegas style review, which is a light theatrical entertainment consisting of a series of short sketches, songs, and dances, which featured the entire Hernandez family. They performed duet medleys and impersonations for very enthusiastic crowds. Peter was nicknamed Bruno at age two because of his confident personality and because as a pudgy baby, he resembled the wrestler Bruno Sammartino. At the age of three, Mars began performing as the world's youngest Elvis impersonator, encouraged by his uncle who was also an Elvis impersonator. Mars added songs by Michael Jackson and The Temptations to his nightly act, and eventually he began performing with his family's band, The Love Notes, and guess what? By the time he reached four years old, he was already performing five nights a week. Mars moved to Los Angeles after high school to pursue a musical career. He replaced his last name Hernandez with Mars after feeling pigeonholed as a Latin artist. In 2004, Mars signed to Motown Records and met songwriter and producer Philip Lawrence. Unfortunately, after one year of being signed with Motown, he was dropped by the label. Bruno and Philip went on to sign a publishing deal with Steve Lindsay at Westside Independent and teamed up with artist Ari Levine forming a songwriting production trio called the Smeezingtons. As Mars became proficient at playing drums, keyboard, bass, and guitar, they started performing cover songs all around LA. In 2006, Mars met his future A&R manager at Atlantic Records' Aaron Bayshuck. But it took the label three years to actually sign him because they felt as though he needed more time to develop as an artist. After producing multiple R&B acts, he got his first chance to sing as a featured singer on B.O.B.'s Nothing On You and Travi McCoy's Billionaire, both top 10 hits. Mars then released Just The Way You Are in July of 2010. The song was the lead single from his debut album, doo and Hooligans, and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in September 2010. In 2014, he was named Artist of the Year by Billboard and ranked number one on the Forbes 30 Under 30 list. Throughout his singing career, he has sold over 12 million albums and 68 million singles worldwide, including such hits as Grenade, Locked Out of Heaven, and When I Was Your Man. So to conclude, do not forget that Bruno Mars is also human and this groovy pop extraordinaire also has many influences as well, such as Michael Jackson, Prince, James Brown, Little Richard, The Police, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, and the doo-wop and reggae music he was exposed to as a child. So what are the takeaways from this incredibly inspiring story? For one, constantly performing on stage creates a level of natural comfort. Playing multiple instruments and being a good dancer can help position you as a well-rounded and versatile entertainer. As an established artist, having a signature look works in your favor immensely. For example, what comes to mind when you think of Bruno Mars? A pompadour and a hat, right? Furthermore, if you stay in the game despite poverty and setbacks, sometimes success is the outcome, so don't give up. Having a catchy name can help you stand out, be memorable, and could avoid categorizing you by a certain race or nationality. Also, finding mentors and collaborators is crucial. And lastly, if you're in the game, be in it. Working your butt off all day and every day will only help you move forward in the small window of time you have as a young artist. So that is all we have for today. I hope this story was as uplifting for you as it was for me. My name is Kiana Walker and please don't forget to subscribe to Vocalist Magazine TV.